Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. Now, I don't know if you've heard or not, but apparently Israel has uh, had its response to Iran. Only it's a little bit strange because Israel is not saying anything about it. And uh, Iran is playing it down and not saying it came from Israel. Instead, they're saying that uh, it came from infiltrators. Anyway, something is a little bit fishy about all of this. And we're going to talk about that coming up in just a second. So stick around. <laughs> sticking with us using the clear cup today so you know it's not just a prop it's actually got something in there something effective with caffeine and all of that uh, yeah so uh, there was an attack in Iran of some kind and uh, right away people are you know trying to ask Israel is this the response is this it and um, Israel is kind of you know subdued and not really saying no they're, they're not confirming anything uh, but that you know what the an American official from the Biden administration was uh, very eager to say that it was, in fact, Israel. The sources, you know, the, the news is coming out and they have their sources, these anonymous sources from the Biden administration, people who know or people who are familiar with the way that Israel thinks or something like that. They have confirmed that Israel did, in fact, strike. And uh, they said it was with a cruise missile and other such things. Only that doesn't seem to quite line up with what actually happened. Because according to Iran, the people in Tehran, they're saying that it was drones and they were intercepted and that it was from infiltrators, not uh, Israel. So it's all a little bit confusing. Now, I hope, I hope that indeed this was the limit of uh, Israel's response and that they decided to use some kind of limited response in order to avoid war. And Iran picked up on that and they realized, okay, if we just, you know, play it off, we don't want to have our people upset and saying we need to respond. So if we just say that it wasn't uh, Israel, we don't say anything, just infiltrators, then we can avoid this conflict, which would mean, you know, thank goodness. But I, I, like I said, I just feel like there's something fishy about this. This American official coming out and saying it was a cruise missile when in fact it was drones. Is somebody playing a game here? Did the Biden administration, you know, by the way, take this with a grain of salt. This is all just speculation. But I, for some reason, I can't, uh, I can't get away from the possibility that maybe somebody decided that they would preempt the Israelis with this uh weird small drone attack and that way the israelis would feel like they couldn't do whatever it was they were going to do because the response has already been done and you know iran has backed off because remember the uh, biden administration has been begging and begging on both sides iran and israel to get them to back down and both sides were pretty much saying like there won't be a limited response there's no way, you know, and Iran is like, well, you know, if they do something, then we're definitely going to do something even bigger. Both sides were saying that, if you recall. So this just seems a little bit strange. Maybe, maybe the Biden administration for the first time ever prevailed in diplomacy. And we've managed, you know, to avoid, imagine, imagined, yes, managed to avoid uh, World War III. I hope so. And even if this was the Biden administration or some other group or something preempting things so that we could avoid this, I hope it succeeds yeah, just because I, I don't want us to go to war. Of course, uh, that would be terrible that the Biden administration could have possibly done that. But, uh, well, we have idiots running things right now. Uh, so, yeah, whatever side you're on, you know, whether you're on the side of Iran or on the side of Israel, which is crazy to think that there's, you know, multiple sides. Boy, the lighting has changed in the room, which means the exposure is probably all goofed up. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's supposed to be cloudy outside, so I left that curtain open. <sighs> you know, if I wasn't using this old ancient lens, the camera might be able to adjust some things to fix that. Actually, it could if I didn't have it completely on manual mode. In fact, I could reach over to it and fix it, but uh, unfortunately, the camera, because it's using a 50 millimeter lens, is not as close as it was before. So I can no longer reach it without uh, completely disrupting this video. But yeah, just my thoughts. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, is there some funny business going on here? 
is it Israel, uh, you know, just saying, you know what, we really don't want to get into World War III and we don't want to be the reason that World War III happens, even though the reason would have been Iran and their attack, although it could have been blamed on Israel because of their attack on the Syrian place, the Iranian embassy, Iranian. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but let's uh, let's all hope that this holds and we don't end up with a bigger conflict in the Middle East and uh, all-out war. That would be terrible. I mean, it wouldn't just be Iran and Israel. It would be Iran and Israel and the United States and Russia and China and everything else you can possibly imagine. The whole world would just shatter and explode into a million pieces. And everybody would have all their scares and they'd be buying iodine pills and all this stuff. Food storage, canned food would be off the shelves, toilet paper. It would all be gone. So let's hope that we don't have that problem because I probably haven't, you know, stockpiled enough toilet paper myself here at the house for a situation like that. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I guess I'll end it there. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>